Alright guys, so it's pretty simple. Uh, you already did installation, so you should be good to go. You log right in, and we're going to install VirtualBox. Like I said, very limited amount of command line stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, this is the command we're going to be running from the command line. So I'm just going to go ahead and go up here. And you want to go to terminal. And then from a terminal, you want to just type in this sudo apt get install the i r t u a l b l x all right and then you want to type in your password now what is sudo uh sudo is back in the day you used to log in as root so you would have to do what they call an su and then you log in as root to run any of your commands from the root user sudo is a way to access root permissions temporarily for one command that way you don't have to have a root account where you give out everybody the username and password for the root account. Each person can have pseudo account access, which means you can run like high level programs just for a quick moment just to get some stats off of the server, which is why we're doing pseudo app get. Uh, the app get part is to let you know the application is to get the installation file for the virtual box. So we're going to hit enter after I putting my password. I'm going to type my password in wrong here. Let's see. Yep, there you go. So it builds its dependency trees, and as you can see right here, it says it's going to need 86.6 .6 megabytes, which is exactly why we're doing everything in uh, Linux, because a lot of stuff is a lot more smaller, more compact in Linux versus in the Windows environment. Just going to hit yes on that. So just type Y, hit enter, and then it's going to do all the installation for you. Go ahead, and uh, I'm going to go ahead, fast forward past all this installation stuff. So the next thing you're going to see is the, the program installed and ready to go. Okay, so VirtualBox should be finished. Um, like I was saying before, installation should take about five, maybe 10 minutes at the very most, but VirtualBox is, in, is uh, installed on this machine. The reason why I'm using VirtualBox is that you don't have to register it like you do with VMware and uh, updates and stuff like that. I've noticed they were a lot easier to do than the ones that VMware uh, require. For example, VirtualBox will have a pop-up every once in a while and say, hey, a newer code is available, would you like to update? And you just click yes, and it does the update for you. VMware is like, hey, a new code's up, uh, updated, you know, let's upgrade. Oh, upgrade failed, you have to redo the entire installation, and it's just more pain than it is helpful. So that's it for this particular tutorial on how to install VirtualBox in machine. Go ahead and flip over to the next one, and we're going to show you how to set up your first virtual machine.